Hello and welcome beautiful cosmic beings. My name is Eve and my channel is Eve 44.4. I'm doing a very special video here today, one that is going to be really guiding us throughout the rest of this year of 2024 and beyond. We are moving into the year of the dragon. It is the wood dragon. Wood pertains to creativity, it pertains to fer fertility, so the, the energies of creativity, the energies of fertility, planting seeds, all of this pertains to the wood. Now in Chinese medicine, fire needs wood, and the dragon is ruled by fire energy. It is Aries energy. It's going to be a very fast moving energy that we have this year. And this is the lunar new year, which always starts when we have the sun and moon conjunction in Aquarius. This year, the lunar new year and the Chinese new year will begin at midnight Chinese time or Asian time on February 10th, 2024. And so I wanted to bring out six piles with messages from the dragon realm, but also from the light activation deck, my light activation deck, the cosmic decks that I have. So we're going to be really tapping in to that Aquarius energy, which is the cosmos. It's our cosmic heritage because we are all ultimately from the stars, regardless of how many lifetimes or how long we have been on this earthly plane or in the more physical 3D dimensional reality. It doesn't matter. We ultimately all come from the stars. And so for this new moon with the energy and the dragon, think about in Chinese medicine, the dragon is the only medicine that is mythical. It's the only one of all of the Chinese animals. It comes from the mythos, if you will, the realm of mythology. And dragon medicine is about personal empowerment, but it's also about magic. It rules the sign of Aries and it rules the element of fire. And that means that for this year, we want to light fire to everything in our life that has true meaning. We want to follow our passions. And with the element of wood being the direction, wood is saying, but you've got to plan and prepare and be organized because fire burns wood. Wood feeds fire. Without wood, fire cannot keep going, right? It cannot burn. So fire needs that wood element. And wood is about being very grounded, using discernment, follow through organization, planning. These energies are very important in order to ignite your dreams and your passions this year. So that's the Chinese medicine here. And then the numerology itself is very important as well. We have February 10th, 2024. So we have that 10 reduces to a one. So February is two, one is three in a universal year of eight, which is 2024. So three and eight is 11. We are going in to the Chinese New Year with the energy of, of 11, the manifester. It's time for you to bring your dreams into reality. 11 is also symbolized as a portal. When I think of the Tarot, the Four of Wands is the card, one of the cards that immediately comes to my mind with the energy of 11 because it's a gateway where we have created the two pillars. The 11 stands for two pillars in order to bring through that energy that we want to create on the earth. So the 11 is a cosmic number. It's a cosmic energy. We also have at play here 1010 because two and 10 and eight, we've got two tens there. So those of you that are into numbers, that are always seeing numbers out in the world in numerology, you might be seeing a lot of 1010, a lot of 111, and a lot of 1111. And that may be very present in your numerology and your chart as well. 
So let's get started here. I'm going to do six piles, which is very unusual, but I wanted to make this video an energy that's timeless and eternal. So if at any time during the year you want to tap back in, you feel guided to the same pile or a different one, you can come back to this because these are energies that are meant for you to access and use. So it's not just about choosing, oh, this stone or this pile feels right to me. It's also about you choosing what it is you want to manifest, which beautiful cosmic dragon maybe you really want to work with. All right. So choose your pile and then maybe listen to other ones if you feel like you need something else or something more here. So I have all my piles chosen. I have not looked at the dragon cards or the whispers of love, even the, yeah. So I pretty much picked the cards, but I haven't really looked at them and I have my books here. I will read from them to give you some extra messages. So let's pick the stones. I wanted to get some crystals that were more in that egg shape, but that have symbolism. So for pile number one, I'm going to go with this beautiful orange agate. Okay, I know there's a name for it, and my dear friend Jessica is probably going to let me know what that is, but I'm going to call it right now a beautiful orange agate. And I chose this because on it, there is the symbol of a star. So let's do that one for pile number one. For pile number two, we're going to do the Merlinite, which is actually a dragon stone. So for those of you that want to use the stones pertinent to the dragon symbol, Merlinite is one of those. So that's pile number two. For pile number three, I want to do the Seraphonite, which is a beautiful healing heart stone it's a very deep dark green for pile number three for pile number four i want to do the deep ruby red garnet i love this stone it has a lot of sacred geometry in it so that's pile number four and then pile number five the cherite which is a deep deep purple stone and hopefully that does not roll away it's going to, and then lastly for pile number six, the ruby. So this is really the dragon egg right here. The ruby is one of the other stones that works very well with dragon medicine. And so that's pile number six. So go ahead and pick your pile and I will meet you there. I'm going to just move these out of the way and we will start with pile number one here. So let me do this in such a way that I can easily access them. Four. Five. I think I'm going to leave that right there. Beautiful. Six will be over here. Okay, we are good to go. Doing my video very live today, which I don't normally do. I, I'm not someone who's, I'm a bit camera shy, so I don't do selfies, very few. I'm not that person. So for those of you that chose pile number one with this beautiful orange agate with that star symbol on it, let's look and see what are your messages here for this Chinese New Year which, oh, wow, I love it. You have the air and the fire dragon that's working with you. And the message is expanding your creative energies. Harness your creativity, excitement, and enthusiasm. Communicate your passion. So right now, those of you that chose pile number one, it fits perfectly with what I just said in the intro here. And this beautiful air and fire dragon corresponds to all the fire signs and the air signs. It's those elements. So it doesn't matter whether you're a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's the element that speaks here. And we have the fire represented by the orange, 
which of course is perfect for this orange agate. And then we have blue, which is a representation of the air element and the throat chakra energy. So right away, pile number one, I'm feeling that your energy is going to come from your root chakra, your first two chakras, your root and your sacral, which sits right below the belly button, that you're really working on that energy in your life right now. So martial arts, hiking, biking, doing exercise in nature, connecting in with nature, any form of meditation, Pilates, muscle building, all of that is going to work well with you to build those first two chakras. And of course, the sacral chakra, which is the second chakra, is all, all about creativity. It's all, all about romance, achieving balance and harmony. But I'm also getting that message of excitement, enthusiasm. You want to just throw yourself into your passions this year. And there's a lot that's getting ready to ignite in your life. That's why we have the visual of the, vol the volcano. So pile number one, things are going to move very quickly for you this year, but use the energy of air or that blue energy and communicate what you need. So I want to read from the dragon book. I believe the air and fire dragon, I feel like it's a fourth, dim fourth dimensional dragon and it is. So let's see, what is the guidance here? Call on your, call on, whoops, that's air, okay, air and fire. Choosing this card indicates that it's time to harness your gifts and talents for your highest good. So pile number one, it's time for you to really work with your gifts and your talents. You have something in your soul to bring forward this year. So your guidance is to decide what fires your enthusiasm, then trust your inner wisdom and talk about it and work towards it. Take a chance and step onto the true path of happiness and creativity. The air and the fire dragon has come to you and it's also asking you to trust in yourself, trust in your intuition, trust that your passions that are coming out are coming out for a reason because you're ready and because it is time. You have all that you need to make the right choice here. All righty, so let's look at what is the cosmic energy that is supporting the fire, the air and fire dragon in your life. What cosmic energy is supporting you, increasing your creativity, learning how to trust yourself ready, learning how to trust yourself more, and feeling that you are actually indeed ready here. I love it. You are getting a solar light upgrade. So solar plexus chakra, inner fire, and willpower. So now we're also bringing in the solar, solar plexus. And isn't it interesting? We have that golden energy, and we have the energy of the star or the Merkaba. That's the six-pointed star. It's the Merkaba. You are activating your solar light pile number one. I really feel like those of, the, those of you that have chosen, chosen this pile, you either have fire in your chart or that's an element you're really working on in your life right now. Because fire is the element of courage and strength and stamina. And that is what you want to build. Okay, pile number one. So the solar light upgrade is saying that you are upgrading your visibility and you are upgrading your power, your personal power in the world, okay? Your inner fire is building. I love that message. So I'm going to leave these cards right there. And then the other message here for you is you are the messenger. So I wanted to see for each of the piles if there was any specific cosmic message coming in aside from the dragons, perhaps a star ancestral line that you that you are part of. And pile number one, it's the serious energy. So perhaps you have spent many lifetimes in that constellation. The serious energy comes from the dog. It's the dog star and it comes 
from the dog constellation. I can't remember what the name of it is. Well, you can look it up. The dog star sits below the constellation of Orion the Hunter. You are the messenger. You are bringing harmony and balance to the earth plane. So you have messages, messages to bring, okay? You are the messenger here. You have healing energy. You are here to speak the truth. You are perhaps a teacher, a counselor, a life coach, a writer, a diplomat. Maybe you work in the fields of translation, in mediation, in the fields of law. But whatever the message is, you are a messenger. That is your superpower. And this is your time to bring these messages out into more of a public forum. It's also about speaking your truth. Okay, so those were the messages. And then I wanted to pick a message of love for you. So in terms of your love language, or your love life, your heart chakra energy, where do you need to be focusing your love light right now? Love who you are. So pile number one, I feel like this is a pile for those of you that are upgrading not only your solar energy, but your self-love. And maybe you're working a lot this year on the things that matter the most to you. You're putting yourself first. You are a divine and wonderful person deserving all of the wonderful wonderful things that life has to offer. So loving who you are also means that the universe is trying to tell you you're a divine being. They're trying to remind you you're a wonderful, beautiful person. Love who you are. You contain within you something very special. It's time for you to bring that unique specialness out and to share it with the world. See how she's spreading her body. She's lifting out. So pile number one, we have this energy of lifting out that is happening for you here. And life has so many beautiful things that it's going to bring you this year, pile number one. Okay. And it could be love in all forms is what I'm getting. All righty. I love these messages. Let's see. I wanted to bring in just maybe some little extra guidance here, especially when it, when it comes to love. And I want to just bring out my dice. I almost never do this and see if there is a focus on a number for you, a planet perhaps in your chart to look at, and maybe a message about a sign, whether it's your sign or whether it's the sign of someone that's going to be very important in your life. So we have the North Node. So look to see where your North Node is. The, the number nine is going to be very important for you. And the sign of Venus. Interesting. Actually, I looked at that as the North Node. It's Leo. So your number is nine, your astrology is Leo, whether that's in you or whether it's someone around you that's going to be very significant. It could also mean that Leo season this year is going to be very powerful for you. And the energy is Venus, so it's love. You are meant to follow love this year. Venus rules creativity, harmony, love, and abundance. So that is what you are meant to follow. Your creativity, harmony and balance, which we already got that message, creating more abundance for yourself and creating more love in your life. You've got this pile number one, sending you so much love. All righty, beautiful. So I'm gonna put those back and let's move on to pile number two. If I can get it over here, beautiful. So for those of you that chose the Merlinite, Merlinite is the stone of magic. And yes, it is connected to the kingdom of, of Arth, um, 
the Arthurian kingdom. I'm being a little dyslexic today. It's kind of interesting. I'm getting a lot of magic with this deck all right off the bat. So let's see what the messages are for you. Oh, wow. So you have a fourth dimensional dragon that is guiding you in the dragon year. I love this dragon. It is the air and the water dragon. Uh, you might love dragonflies because I'm getting a dragonfly message. You may love the ocean. You may love to surf, kayak, sail. You just, it's very important for you to be by water, to work with the water energy. And you have the colors blue and green. So that's the heart chakra. And it's also blue, which is the throat chakra. So we have the fourth chakra and the fifth that you're working with. The elements of air and water are the air signs, Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. The water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. But understand, it doesn't mean you have to be one of these signs, but these are the elements or the energies you are meant to work with. So the air and water dragon is guiding you to work with your emotional body, but it's also guiding you to work with your speak, with your speech. Okay, your thought forms, your speech, speaking your truth, communication. But what you're doing here, Paul number two, is it's communication from the heart. You have to get clear within your, within your emotional space first before you can then speak your truth. But I love it because the air and the water dragon rules all the fish life. I'm getting the dragonfly here. I'm getting the whale energy, the dolphin energy, the fishes that, that fly. So it's the fish medicine or the medicine of the sea or the ocean where they're water bound, but they also take flight. That's you. You're taking flight this year, but you're doing it from your emotional center, which is actually our core, right? So let's read what the message here is. Trust your intuition. Develop your psychic abilities. Be open to enlightenment and express your inner song. Oh, this is so beautiful. Pile two, I feel like for you, this dragon year is about more fully opening up your emotional body. It's about your heart and you feeling more comfortable in your emotions, feeling comfortable with your feelings and really honoring it. You are connecting to higher frequencies of love. I love that message. So let's see what the air, oh, and I went right to it. What is your guidance? Call on the blue and the green air and water dragon to enter your third eye to awaken and activate your higher fifth dimensional abilities. This will bring you crystal clear clarity and new visions and awareness of your life. Your third eye is a very sensitive center. And when it is in the fifth dimension, the air and the water dragons will clarify and protect you and enhance your ability to bring in your intuition for the highest good of all. So pile number two, you were specifically drawn to this, this pile and this dragon because this year you are full, further activating, energizing, and raising your psychic intuitive abilities. They're going to become crystal clear. You will be channeling like I do from the higher dimensions and what you are accessing here is clarity crystal clear clarity is the message i'm getting for you here so it's asking you to use your intuition as well as your spiritual knowledge and your wisdom so that you can then see everything from a more illuminated perspective so the air and the water dragon is not only bringing you to higher dimensional intuition, psychic abilities to become more of a clear channel for yourself and others. It's also asking you to use your spiritual knowledge and wisdom. 
And so pile number two, you may be seeking to study something this year, to go to workshops, to read up on books, because you want to increase your spiritual knowledge. So for pile two, I feel like you might be my healers, my teachers in terms of channelers, intuitives out there. Perhaps you are in a field where you're learning a lot right now. I'm getting a lot of messages about learning, but you're also expanding your heart chakra. So where are you going? You're being called. Soul gifts and training. It's time to step up. What did I say about studying? It's time to step it up. Your abilities are expanding, whether they're spiritual knowledge or wisdom knowledge. If you're a teacher, an educator, a guide for others, you it's time for you this year to step it up, please. You are being called right now. The universe is calling you. I feel like I need to read this. Yep, you're being called. There's definitely a very strong call coming in here. You're being called perhaps to a creative project, a passion, an adventure. This card is your confirmation that you're facing the right way and that this moment right here has been destined. Ah, what did I say about walking through a portal? You're walking through a doorway and this doorway is destined this year. You're ready. Pile number two, this is your time. You've prepared a very long time for this. So I'm getting two groups of people here. Those of you that are in some form of schooling or wanting to start some kind of full schooling. Um, those of you that are giving retreats, you're leading retreats, you're leading workshops, you're guiding groups of people, and you're being called to further activate this. You're ready. So pile number one and two, there's a little bit of synchronicity going on here. If you are feeling underprepared or thinking, who am I to be doing this? This card is guiding you to step up and leap because your soul has been training for this your entire lifetime. It's time. Pile number two. Oh, wow. You cannot make this up. We've got two gateways, don't we? It's time. Pile number two. What I'm getting for you, it's this is the pile where you've been questioning, am I ready? Do I know enough? What more do I need to learn? And the answer is you are on the right path. You've got to take a leap. It's the fool energy, right? A leap forward, Orion activation, supernova, recreation, renewal, rebirthed by light. You are being rebirthed, pile number two. I feel like you've been training for, for this mission for many, many lifetimes. And you have the constellation of Orion helping you. And perhaps you come from that constellation. I resonate deepest with the constellation of Orion and with the planet Mintaka, the water beings. Okay. I feel a very deep resonance with the Orions and so might you, but you are being activated right now by that constellation. You want to, you may want to look at it in the night sky, the constellation of Orion, the hunter, and um, Sirius as well, the dog star, they're very visible in the winter skies. Please look at night in a very clear sky. I took a picture of it about two weeks ago, and it, I was, it was fascinating to me to be able to see that here in San Diego because it was very bright, and I could clearly see the belt of Orion with the three big stars there, and one of those stars being Mintaka. And so for those of you that resonate with Orion, um, understand that you are the spiritual warriors and you are the spiritual leaders because Orion is the hunter and he's the um, 
spiritual hunter, the sacred hunter, and you see him carrying the bow and arrow of wisdom. So also Orion, many people associate it with the centaurs and the sign of Sagittarius. Let me read here. I want to see Orion, and I went straight to it. The activation of Orion. Okay. So what are your messages of guidance? All of your fears and setbacks are being stripped from your energy field now. It is essential for your old way of being to fall away and for you to go through a process of renewal in order to move forward. So on this journey, pile number two, you cannot take anything with you. The past must be completely released. And I'm going to jump ahead because I saw what the um, romance angels or the whispers of love were bringing to you from your love light. What is the message of love for you? Look at your pattern in relationships. It requires inner strength to recognize that you need to change or modify your behavior in relationships. So pile number two, the past is leaving now. It has no place in this doorway you are walking through. And so you're being called to look at the pattern that you're letting go of. But understand that, that this pattern is what helped you build very deep inner strength and courage so that you are ready for what you're being called to do now, to do now on the earth. And I'm feeling with looking at your pattern in relationships, the message I'm getting is that don't worry about this. You're not going to create this again. It's what's leaving you but it was necessary in your life and on your journey. So instead of holding any kind of disappointment or resentment or anger or frustration around it, instead hold gratitude because it made you strong. There is nothing that is going to stop you now. This is my pile. I can tell you that right now. Okay. So your message is you're going through great renewal and rebirth. The beings, the beings of Orion are surrounding you now and they see you as one of them. Someone who has been born with the knowledge that they can live with great purpose and make a real difference in this world. And I'm getting some throat stuff. So you're going to be clearing. They're helping you clear your throat chakra so that you can speak with greater clarity, which is what I obviously am doing here today. Wow. Yep, you're meant, you're meant to, to have a global, you're meant to do something on a global scale. You are being reminded that you have infinite star potential. Beautiful message. So pile number two, those were your messages. And I wanted to just leave you with um, my dice to see if there's some kind of number focus, sign focus, planet focus that you need to be focused on. Okay. Wow. Okay. I love it. We've got number nine. So number nine might be significant for you this year, whether that's your number, you're going to see that a lot, a lot, or perhaps you were born on the ninth day or the ninth month, which would be September, the planet that's ruling you this year is Jupiter. And that rules Sagittarius and Pisces. But watch the planet Jupiter this year. And I love Jupiter because Jupiter is the planet of expansion and growth, travel and globalization. Jupiter is about infinite potential. And didn't we get that message? And the sign is Virgo. So maybe you have Virgo in your sign. I happen to be Virgo rising and my north node is Virgo. So this pile does fit me. But you may have Virgo in your energy field or this year, the month of September and the sign, the time of Virgo may be very special or important for you. Sending you so much love. And please do not forget to give me a thumbs up if this resonated with you. Subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment. Sending you all so much love.
Now let me dive into pile number three. I think I have that right. Yes, it's those of you that chose this beautiful dark green stone, the Seraphonite, which rules with the heart chakra. So let's see if that in, is going to indeed come up or not. So what cosmic dragon is working with you? Oh, I love it. Oh, you are my water beings. Pile three, right away I'm getting water signs. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or perhaps you have a lot of water in your chart. Maybe you love the energy of water. Maybe you're very sensitive souls. You're very empathic. You're my empaths. You feel things very deeply. Or perhaps planet Neptune is very strong in your chart. But we have the blue aquamarine dragon holding the trident of Neptune. That's the dreamer. Oh, I love this message. You hold in one hand the aquamarine dragon from Neptune is holding Neptune. And in the other hand, it is holding the key. So this cosmic dragon is telling you that this year you can access your deepest and greatest wisdom, but also your deepest and greatest desires. Whatever you desire, reach for the stars this year, pile number three. You're going to get whatever it is you strive for. Your dreams are coming true. Work with the water energy. And I love it because we have the water, the water dragons, the little um, sea dragons is what we call them, right? You know they mate for life. Yes, so pile number three, I'm getting a lot of love energy around you. So let me read this. Spirituality and wisdom are available to you. Develop your psychic abilities and receive ineffable soul knowledge. You're going to be receiving a lot of inspiration this year, a lot of soul knowledge. Now, the aquamarine dragon from Neptune I am not sure, I'm looking here to see, it's a seventh dimensional dragon, number 82. They're water dragons. They flow around you, surrounding you with their beautiful blue energy, and they're here to awaken your psychic abilities. So pile number three, the message is awakening. So you're awakening to greater soul wisdom, to your superpowers. So those of you that were drawn to this pile, maybe you don't know what your superpowers are. Maybe you don't know what your mission on this earth is. Maybe you're seeking answers to where am I meant to go? Where are my superpowers? What's my destiny? Maybe you've been floundering. And so this is your message to really allow the aquamarine dragon from Neptune to guide you here. Connect with them often and they will light up the keys and the codes of your true essence. And this is going to bring you soul contentment and a sense of divine magnificence. Your guidance here is to drink a glass of blessed water as you tune in to these dragons. When you tap into water energy, you will be able to work with them more deeply. So they're saying, bless your food, and but especially bless your water. Get a glass of water and bless it and drink it and then tap into their energy. Go swim in the ocean. Again, I was seeing surfers, sailors, people that love to jump in the water, you know, just go by the water even and then tap into that energy and they're, they're always here to make you feel better, pile number three, because you're very sensitive. And so your emotions may be like the tide, right? They may ebb and flow. And so these beautiful dragons are here to maybe balance out your emotions a little bit more and let you know that it's your heart that carries magnificence. All righty. <coughs> and it is because... You, you have a stargate. 
Oh, wow. This is so beautiful. Pile three, wherever you originate in the cosmos, you come. I, I'm feeling you come from Mother Creator. You come from the divine feminine aspect of creation. You come from wherever the cosmic heart of creation lies. That's where you originated from. So you carry the blessings of the cosmic mother. You carry the stargate heart. The heart chakra is opening, unlocking generosity. We have all of that heart chakra energy, all that beautiful green, that water. It, it looks like Atlantis to me. So perhaps pile number three, you spent many significant lifetimes in Atlantis and you will resonate with that energy as an Atlantean. I love that. So the Stargate heart is saying your heart chakra is further opening here and there is something very beautiful that is coming through here. Let me look this up. Stargate, I was looking in the wrong place. There we go. Your heart space is a sacred space deep within you. For some time, you have protected it with psychic shields that have not only stopped you from being hurt, but they've also stopped you from, from feeling pure divine love. So this message is your heart needs to open. It's time. You're going through a giant, giant heart opening. And perhaps pile number three, three, you know, you're my sensitives here. You're my empaths. So you've been through a lot of heartache and you've learned to, you've had to actually protect your heart very deeply to, to make it through life and to learn the lessons you needed to learn. And you've had to learn to protect in order to learn healthy boundaries. But now you've learned this. So the heart, the Stargate heart and Cosmic Mother is telling you, you've learned what you've needed to learn with healthy boundaries and learning discernment. Now you can fully open your heart again to fully receive the love that is wanting to find you here. This gateway appearing is showing you that you have finally dropped these shields and you are ready to experience cosmic love, universal love, love at a level that you have never experienced before. And they're telling you that the gateway through is kindness and generosity, to practice being very generous, kind, and gentle with yourself. And that will further and faster activate this stargate. Oh, this is such a beautiful message. I can feel it in my heart. And yes, isn't that beautiful? Cracked open. Your heart is being cracked open. Rock bottom, surrender to the alchemy of life. You've already reached rock bottom and you've gone beyond it. You've already been through many dark nights of the soul. It's time to lift off. But you, pile number three, you're lifting into love. That's what I'm getting. You're being completely cracked open your heart, everything to receive the highest love that you are capable of receiving. Oh my gosh, I'm just, I am so grateful to receive these messages for you. Understand how grateful I am. Pile number three, this is beautiful. And from the whispers of love, you, you're receiving love from the cosmos. You're ready for unconditional cosmic love. It is reaching you, pile three. It's time. It's beautiful. Be in the present and dream of the future. So there's nothing about the past anymore. It's wiped clean. You're being so wiped open, so cracked open, that it's the visual I'm getting is like it's a giant jar filled with water that's been cracked down the center and all of the water is, is falling out now. All of the past, all of the hurts, all of the betrayals, disappointments, losses, they're gone. 
it's being wiped clean and you're being given a beautiful new jar. But this is a cosmic jar, like the sign of Aquarius, right? The cosmic bearer. So pile number three, you may be my water signs. You may be Aquarians. You carry beautiful water energy in your chart and you also carry Aquarius is what I'm getting. And this time of Aquarius is going to be so profound for you. And so the message is to be very firmly grounded in the present and to dream of the future. You are my dreamers after all. When we dream, everything is possible. Oh, I love that message. So I want to leave you with just some timing messages. You know, see what number comes in for you to focus on. See what planet comes in, what sign language. And this may be something that you have in your own chart or a time of year. Or maybe the planet that is working with you um, in this beautiful opening into cosmic love. Oh, wow. Oh, yes, there's Pisces watching this. We have the sign of Pisces, right? So you may have Pisces in your chart. There may be a beautiful Piscean energy coming to you. It could be the season of Pisces, which is right around the corner. Uh, however, all of this year, we have Saturn and Neptune in Pisces, and they'll be in Pisces through part of 2025. So please know these messages for you are quite eternal, but I love it. You've got Pisces energy. You've got Venus. I think pile three, Venus and Pisces. Oh, wow. That is so beautiful. Venus is exalted in the sign of Pisces. Pile three, you are getting the most beautiful love. You are getting divine counterparts. You are coming into union within yourself. You are either coming into a divine union with someone, bringing in a divine counterpart union, or perhaps you're already with that divine counterpart. But just know this is about profound love. And the number that came out for you is number three. Maybe number three is your lucky number. Maybe you see a lot of three, three, threes. Again, three is the month of March, which is Pisces and Aries. So you're being directed towards that season. Love, love these messages, sending you all so much love. And if you like my messages, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you and thank you so very much. Love this message. Now let's move on to pile number four. Those of you that chose this beautiful deep red garnet. I call it a blood red garnet. It, it works very deeply with the root chakra. It's also one of the stones of love. So let's see what cosmic dragon is coming in for you, pile number four. We have the air dragon. You're rising above any earthly matter. So air right away can be the signs of Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, we've got a very deep blue energy. But see how in this visual you're flying, you're rising above things. So what I'm getting right away from the air dragon is don't take anything personally. Be above it all. Practice being the observer in your life. Practice non-attachment. When, when you're in a place of observation and non-attachment, you're in a place of freedom because that means that nothing sticks to you anymore. That's what I've been experiencing a lot lately. In these last, I would say, two to three years, I've become so deeply detached where I feel like I can just flow more and that whatever is happening in my life, if it does have an emotional charge, it doesn't stay long. I can easily navigate through it. I feel like pile number four, you're my navigators. And you're very good at communication. Communication is very important to you. You're, you carry the air element. Whether you are an air sign or not, you carry the air energy. That means that how you communicate, how you think is something you always want to look at. 
You always want to get really, really clear with your, with your thoughts and your communication. And you want to be in relationships, both personal and business, with people where communication is clear. You want to work with, work with and have personal relationships with people and companies and businesses where communication is considered a superpower. And perhaps you work in the field of communication. So let me read further on this message. Uh, communicate honestly. Bringing inspiration and hope to others. Seeing life from a higher perspective. Well, that's true because when we are non-attached and we are the observer, we're flying above things. We then get to see it from a perspective of non-judgment because non-attachment is also non-judgment. The two go together. And from that place of non-judgment, we get a greater picture and we can see how all the pieces can work more perfectly together. So pile number four, I feel like the air dragon is bringing you into a place of greater communication where you can speak more honestly with people, where you are an inspiration in the world to others. You bring them hope. You bring, bring them inspiration. You, you're here to light them up. You bring them humor. Pal 4, I'm getting that you're humorous. You naturally wake up more optimistic. You look at the world from the glass half full. That's, your, that's the way you want to live in the world. Doesn't mean you've always been there, okay? But that's how you want to be. So let's see what the air dragon wants to say to me. I believe it's a, I think it's a fourth or a fifth dimensional dragon. Yes, it's a fourth dimensional. Now fourth, when I say fourth, it means that the dragons can reach us while we're sleeping. That our sleep time may be a very significant time for us. So what does the air dragon want to bring for us? They're saying, they're suggesting that we take things lightly. What did I say? Don't take anything personally. Relax. Look at part of your life from a higher perspective. They're here to inspire you to communicate honestly, but also lovingly in a way that calms and soothes everything around you. So the air dragons, they don't come from a place of ego. They come from a place of calmness, relaxation. You're not taking anything, anything personally. You move through the world very lightly. And so perhaps that's what you're having to learn this year as well. So the these blue air dragons are also supporting you ri to rise above any challenges. They're helping you to use the most tactful form of communication to find words of inspiration that help you stand in your power with greater integrity and discernment and they allow others to see you through the lens of respect. So I'm getting an energy of, of needing to be seen in a more respectful way that you're really creating more integrity in your life and that you're wanting to build relationships with people and situations where there's full integrity, there's full honesty, diplomacy, and you don't want to bother with the drama at any level walk away from drama. Okay. So let's see what your other guidance is. I love it. We have here the Venusians. So pile number four, you've spent many lives with the Venusians. That can be people, you know, the Venusian level, the Venusian energy, it's a cosmic energy. They didn't only inhabit the outer realm of Venus but they come from another galaxy far beyond this one. So they're called the Venusians, the Venusian Galactic Council. It's all the energy of pink and gold. So it's the energy of wisdom, 
and it's the energy of love. And so their message for you, pile number four, is that you are a star being guide here on the planet. You are answering the call to bring more love to the planet, but you're here to shine. And you're here to shine in the fields of communication, whatever those may be. And perhaps you're an entrepreneur, you're building startups, you're creating companies. I feel like you're here to make a lot of abundance, pile number four. And I feel like you can create a, a lot of abundance for you this year. But just know that the Venusian Galactic Council is working with you along with the air dragon and the blue dragon and that they're helping you answer the call to greater wisdom what kind of wisdom are you bringing in and the other message with this is all paths lead home you're really listening to your inner authority you're turning your gaze within you're listening to yourself first so pile number four, absolutely. You have to come from such a deep place of inner honesty in order to speak the truth. You have to be really crystal clear within. So you're turning your gaze within first to get to that path of deep inner intuition. And you are your own inner authority. It means you are your own greatest guide and a, along with the venusian galactic council and the air dragons they're also helping you but they're helping you see and tap in to the fact that you have a very profound inner guide your soul itself is already a master soul you contain self-mastery here use that inner self-mastery that inner authority and you are here to guide people home, home to whatever their home is. All paths lead to home. You are recognizing when you have that higher perspective, that discernment, that non-attachment and non-judgment, you can see that all paths are meant to lead us home. And what is home? It's home to self. It's home to creation, right? That's where you are going. I love this message. I want to see if the Venusian Galactic Council has any extra messages to give us here. Because I have a feeling they do. They're speaking right now. They're going to be the last card, aren't they? Yes, they are. They're going to reach out to you in your dreams and your meditation time. Yep. They're going to connect with you to share information that's going to support you on your journey. So really do that deep inner gazing. Pile number four for you to create a silent space for you every day. Meditation, make sure you get more than enough rest. Have a dream journal. Have your own journal, your journaling. That's going to be very important for you. Um, the Venusian Galactic Council is, they're governed by Lady Venus and Sanat Kamara. And they are a divine board of directors who are responsible for recruiting light workers and leaders on the earth who have the potential to make a very big difference on this earth. So you are being reminded that you are the, you are the great communicators. You are the master communicators. That's the message I'm getting. And you have a mission on this earth. And this year is your time to fully develop that mission. The air blue dragons are guiding you. And the Venusian Galactic Council is guiding you. So your very last message here from the Whispers of Love. And this is the guidance in your love life. Is get to know each other. So something very powerful is happening in your love life as well, pal number four. You're getting to know the people that are really meant to be in your life. So pile number four, I feel like there's this Aquarian energy with you, a lot of air energy, but very strong Aquarius. I'm also getting Leo for some reason and Sag 
and Aries, those are the signs that are coming in right now, and Pisces, you are coming into contact with your soul family. Whoever has not come in yet from your soul family, they're coming. You're learning to meet each other's needs for love, and you're looking at what is most important to have your relationships grow. So pile number four in your love life, but also business, you're, you want to grow all of your relationships. And you're looking at how you can meet one another's needs and be supportive on an equal playing field. None of this is about codependence. It's a higher form of love. Pile number four, you are forming what I love to call cosmic relationships and divine counterparts. But you're getting to know each other on a much deeper level. So I want to complete this by picking in, picking in, getting in some last minute energies around what planet is guiding you, what sign is guiding you, and what number to pay attention to. Okay, very interesting. The number is three, so you might be seeing a lot of three, three, threes. You may want to go and listen to pile number three as well because they got this too. And there's a synchronicity between these two piles, three and four. Uh, maybe the month of March is very important. Maybe you were born on the third day. And of course, we have the energy of Pisces here. M March is Pisces and Aries energy. You might be just seeing a lot of three, three, threes. Uh, the energy of the sun. Um, so you could be a Leah. Oh, yeah. And I got the energy of Leah. Leo season this year may be very important for you. But because we have the energy of the sun you are meant to completely shine your light out into the world. Do not hold back at all. At all. Be completely, totally, authentically you. I love it. Sending you all so much love. I hope these messages resonated for you. And if you like it, give me a comment, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and sending you all a very big hug. Alrighty, moving on to my last two piles here. Pile number five. Those of you that chose the chair right. This is a beautiful crystal of enlightenment. It's a very deep purple. So pile number five, perhaps you're attracted to the purple light. Maybe it's time for you to be working with the purple flame of transmutation. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there and hope it doesn't start bouncing around. Which beautiful, oh wow, what beautiful cosmic dragon is working with you. We have the silver lunar dragon bathing you in divine feminine light. Come into balance and practice peace, harmony, and cooperation. You are expanding your causal chakra. Wow, we're going to have to read about this. You are the silver lunar dragon. Well, silver actually is the cosmic color of the eighth chakra. And I believe the causal chakra is the one that is right here. It's above our crown chakra, but right here, it's where our spiritual wisdom comes through. It doesn't just come straight down. It comes through. It's up and a little bit to the back. So the causal chakra, the color is silver. And so this silver dragon is bringing in spiritual messages from the higher dimensions for you, pile number five. And I feel like you're my pile that really pays attention to the lunar cycles, especially the full moons. So really pay attention this year to the new moons and the full moons here. I feel like they're going to have an impact on your life and your energy field. Field, So you're being bathed in divine feminine energy, pile number five. So really allow that feminine energy to come in here. Now, I feel like the silver lunar dragon, is it the fifth or the seventh? It's the seventh dimension. Yeah, it's coming from the higher dimensions absolutely it's the one right above huh. 
wonder why that's not okay there we are the guidance you're here to practice peace harmony equality and cooperation love unity and wisdom in your daily life so this is a daily practice the silver lunar dragon is telling you to connect with the moonlight maybe go out at night every evening look at the stars look at the moon see where it's at follow the lunar cycle but she's asking you and i'm getting a very strong divine feminine energy here it's the feminine it's a sacred feminine aspect of creation that is bathing you in its light and understand this is has nothing to do with gender whether you're male or female watching this does not matter this is the sacred feminine silver energy that is bathing you in light through the starlight through the lunar activity and it's asking you to create daily practices to further peace and harmony in your life and to further love in your life this lunar dragon is going to be helping you and supporting you anytime you feel out of balance out of harmony out of peace call this beautiful dragon in to bring you in to equilibrium so pile number five i feel like you're wanting to bring balance in something about bringing your life into equilibrium or balance is very very important here let's look further at the other messages the activated earth power places ley lines trust where you're being led well we have that purple energy again so we've got silver and purple working with your crown chakra, which is purple, and your eighth chakra, the silver energy. Pile number five, I really feel it's important for you to meditate, okay? Go sound healing, get Reiki healings done, yoga. You're the activated earth. So there's something very pivotal going on here for you, pile number five. You're getting this pillar of light from the moonlight and the starlight coming through the silver dragons from above through your higher chakras down and it's going through your feet your earth star chakras into the earth and you are activating your earth star chakra so that would mean you're activating any part of your energy field that is connected to the earth Pile number five, there's power places on the earth that you are meant to visit and connect to. And you can do it through meditation. You can do it when you're asleep at night and dreaming. Maybe you're traveling at night in your dreams and you're going to power places. You may want to go on a retreat this year. Go to a power place for you. But it's very important that this year you activate not only your causal energy but also your earth energy because i'm seeing you creating or bringing through this really large pillar of silver and purple light surrounding you you're like literally standing in a giant cylinder or portal of light that is coming from very high above all the way down into the ley lines of the earth and you are being activated there. So activated earth. I want to read this for you. Yeah, you might be called to travel to a sacred place so that you can remember where your soul has been and the pathways it's been traveling. Pile number five, you're the dreamer this, this, this year. It's as if you're activating every part of your beingness. You're moving into becoming a fully activated cosmic being. That's what I'm getting as your primary message, pile five. You are becoming fully awakened and activated. But that also means you're going to be remembering your soul's journey, past lives, wherever you've been in the cosmos. So I want to see where you may have been. Uh, you've been in any galactic center where there's been a very strong central sun so pile five i'm getting a lot of purple and silver 
I wasn't getting any specific astrological signs, though now I am getting the fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sag. With the silver light, I'm getting all the water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and I'm also getting Aquarius here. But you are connected to the central sun. So, oh, this is so fascinating. You're connected to the heavens and you're connected to the earth. So you're getting very grounded and balanced between the two. You're an earth angel, no doubt about it. You're coming into being with your, with your angelic part, but you're also getting get very grounded and balanced with your earthly realm. And then you are connecting with your moonlight and you're connecting with your sunlight. You are both a daytime person and a nighttime person. That's what I'm getting. It's about bringing these two energies in to balance. So you may want to meditate or pray or do daily affirmations as the sun is rising and as the sun is setting. Because the sun is rising and then as the sun is setting, the moon is rising. There's great abundance coming to you great success. So pile number five, you are activating something amazing on this earth this year. And I'm getting abundance across the board, full abundance, completely across the board. I want to read this here, the central sun. Is it going to be under the Okay, there we go. I This is one of my favorite cards in this deck. The sun is a very vital energetic vortex in the physical realm. And so you may be really working on and building your physical reality right now. And the central sun is saying that it is time to do that, to really work deeply on your physical well-being, and your financial well-being and your career, very pivotal, but you're also creating your spiritual path right now. On a spiritual level, the central sun is a portal of divine light that you can connect with through the inner universe. It is a spiritual gateway representing the center of the multiverse, multiverse where you can access anything. So pile number five, you are going through a time of absolute complete regeneration. You're letting go of all tiredness, all fatigue, all of the old energies being washed away, all of the old skins, everything in the past is gone. You are completely rebirthing yourself at two levels, the physical, and the spiritual. That's what I said. You are activating every single part of your cosmic beingness. This is amazing. There's going to be new ideas, opportunities, and experiences coming to you very easily this year. Love that message. So let's go ahead and look at what is your last message here from the whispers of love. What's going on in your love life? speaking the language of love. And here we have a full moon again. Pile number five, you better be doing some stargazing, okay? It's going to help you. And I feel like whether it's with the sunrise or the sunset or even the moon gazing at night, it's giving you energy. When you call on the silver dragon to, it will wipe clear from you anything you need gone. All the old is leaving and it's being washed away so quickly but speaking the language of love is what's coming in for you your love life loving words have the power to change someone's life including your own so this is about really speaking the language of love and think about this the silver dragon is the divine feminine 
part of creation and the divine feminine speaks the language of love. You're wanting to spend quality time with those that you love and you're wanting to grow your the relationships in your life. But what I'm also getting from this card is a lot of physical abundance. So not just emotional abundance, but also a lot of physical abundance. Beautiful, beautiful messages. So there it is, pile number five. I want to complete with just the roll of my dice, which I almost never bring out, but I like doing this. Let's see what numbers, what astrological signs, planets want to come in for you. Wow, we've got number eight, and we're in an eight year. It's the year of success, ambition, destiny, karma, dharma. But for you, Pile 5, I feel like all karma is being washed away. You're done. It's dharma that is coming now, and dharma is reward. But know that all of this year is good. Every month this year, it might be particularly powerful for you, though, during the month of August, but also the Lion's Gate, which is 8-8. Eight, eight. And then the sign that I'm getting is Aquarius, the water bearer. So we're right now, I'm filming this in the time, whoa, in the time of Aquarius. And so right now you're, you might be doing good. You might be telling me, Eve, everything is happening right now. Thank you so much that we're in the season of Aquarius all year. It's being ramped up right now all throughout February, but we're entering the time of Aquarius permanently. So right now, pile number five, there's really no time frame for you. It's all happening right now and throughout this year. And the planet that's guiding you is Jupiter. So Jupiter rules Sagittarius and Pisces. And Jupiter is an ex in exaltation in the sign of Cancer. So these may be very particular signs for you. But Jupiter is the planet of bringing in abundance at all levels growth, travel, expansion. Jupiter is about traveling and expansion. And we did get the message earlier that you might be wanting to go to some sacred places on the earth. So these are your messages, pile number five. I love them, sending you all so many blessings, so much love. If you like my messages, subscribe to my channel, hit the... Um, Hit the thumbs up button, leave me a comment, and let me know what you think. Sending you all so much love. Now I'm going to go to my very last pile here. Ah, pile number six. Those of you that felt the energy of this beautiful ruby dragon's Let's look at see what your cosmic messages are from the dragons. Oh, wow. Right off the bat, pile number six, you might have a family. You know, you might be creating your family. You might be very focused on the energies of fertility, creating very beautiful foundations in your life, whether it's buying, selling homes, getting your home the way you'd like it to be moving to a new home, you know, getting pregnant for the first time, giving birth, or perhaps you're just working diligently with your family, you know, putting your foundation, your family first. I'm getting a lot of very strong family energy here, but you have the green dragon. That's all about the heart, heart chakra. It's all about love. It's all about abundance. But it's, see how I'm getting that nesting energy? Really wanting to create solid foundations on the earth. Build a beautiful family with your loved ones, whoever that might be. Whoever your family is. doesn't have to involve children, but it can. It can also involve your parents or your best friends. The green dragon helps you to tune in to the secrets of nature. But this is also about connecting more with the outdoors, right? With nature. But the idea of setting a strong foundation is connecting with the earth. Receiving answers and guidance from nature. This allows you to align with your divine essence. So pile number six, you're my nature lovers. You're those that maybe want to have a house or a home 
surrounded by plants or water. Maybe you've got a lot of plants on your balcony. You, you Maybe you have a green thumb. You love plant medicine. Maybe you work with plant medicine. Perhaps you're in the homeopathic field, the acupuncture field, but you love nature. And nature is your go-to. And the green dragon is here to help you connect more with nature, which also includes animals. You're an animal lover. You're not only a plant lover. But I, again, I'm getting that strong family energy here. And I love it because in this visual, nature holds the key. She's also saying, get very, very grounded. I'm getting a feminine energy from the green dragon. Get very grounded. That connecting with plant medicine, getting out in nature, exercising, being very physical, doing, um, keeping your physical body in balance is very important as well. Strong nutrition, doing cleanses, detoxes, all of that is going to be very good for you, pile number six. Eating a lot of green foods is what I'm getting as well. Maybe you want to go on a vegetarian or vegan kick for a while to see how, how it impacts your body. Wear a lot of the color green as well, okay? But she's holding a key. That nature holds your key. So be around animals as well. I'm feeling like animals may be holding a key for you. So, wow, why did I pick those two up? We might need those. So the green dragon, let me look in here. I think... The green dragon is a fifth dimensional dragon, is it? Golden, gold, lilac. Yes, it is. Okay. It's a fifth dimensional dragon. So you're bringing, you're connecting a lot with the fifth dimension right now. Yeah. The nature kingdom is a magical place in which all of the answers are being held for us. Pile number six, I'm getting you're connecting with the light body of the earth. So every time you go out and you look at the earth as magical in every way, shape, or form, in that moment, you're connecting with the light body of the earth. And the earth is magic and it contains magic. And that's what you're tapping into. So pile number six, your word is magic. Drawing this card suggests that you would benefit by spending more time in the green world. Yep. Yep. Okay. So that's, that's all we need. But I'm also getting the message from the green dragon of healing. So pile number six, you may be those that are really wanting to improve your physical, mental, emotional well-being. You're healing at all levels of your body. It's physical, it's mental healing, it's emotional healing. All of the three are connected. But you're on a pathway of profound healing. Allow the green dragon to help you on your journey. Okay? And the message is, she's helping you heal. You're going to have healing this year. Oh, I love this. Okay. These two cards came in out of nowhere. We have the Lemurian seed coat. So we've got green and we've got purple. You need to work with the Lemurian crystal. I have a beautiful one on, over there. The Lemurian crystal is going to help you. Okay. It's going to bring in the answers you seek. So pile six, I'm feeling you're the pile. You're seeking answers in your life right now. And you're being called to connect with nature or plant medicine, or the animal world, or your own physical body as a conduit of information, that this is where your answers are going to come from, okay? And then you're also being told that the Lemurian seed and working with crystal medicine, and crystals come from the earth, is going to also help you bring the answers in that you seek. It's time for you to embrace your sensitivity and your uniqueness, your unique individual soul, you're here to live on the planet in the state of grace, okay? You're meant to embody surrender, flow. I'm seeing just flow. 
like you're flowing with life. You're not allowing life to pull you around. You're instead moving with it. And there's a sense of surrender that I'm getting from this message. I want to read from that, the Lemurian seed crystal, living with grace. You are a highly sensitive being. Now, you might feel that this is not a good thing, but this is a gift. Your sensitivity is a gift. So pile number six, one of the reasons why you need to connect so deeply with nature, with the physical realm, and be really completely in your physical body, because your physical body is divine presence, okay? And if you can see your physical body, that every part of it is divine, it's part of your soul matrix system, then you're going to be in it as if it is the most beautiful thing that you have, right? We so often discard the energy of our, phys of our physical body as if it was somehow less intelligent, but it isn't. And so pile number six, you're being brought back to the divine intelligence of your physical physical body. <coughs> wow, we're clearing the throat chakra for pile number six. Yes, something's clearing here. You have spent lifetimes upon lifetimes living with a giant shield to stop the world from seeing the real you. But you are a highly unique soul with incredible gifts and it's time for you to share them on this earth. Through embracing your uniqueness, you will help others and break their embrace their own. This lifetime is meant to be a graceful existence with, with less defenses and more trust. It's not about protecting yourself, but about stepping into the space of surrender. What did I say about surrender? And revealing your true self. So pile six, you're a dragon. You're my dragons. Of all the six piles, you're my actual dragons. You're my dragons or my unicorns, if you will, my mermaids. Um, it's time for you to be who you are in this world. Dance to the, own beat, to the beat of your own drum and find those that resonate with that drum. Don't bother with those that don't, okay? So call on the Green Dragon and the Lemurian Seed Codes to help you. This can also be that you spent many lifetimes as a Lemurian, okay? So that's part of your cosmic inheritance is Lemuria. Tap into that, please. And then your last message from the Starseed Realm is the Courageous Peony. You are multifaceted, unique in nature. We're getting that message reiterated, aren't we? Let yourself be seen. You're unique. Be who you are. You're unique. You're beautiful. You're sensitive. You are a gracious being. The peony is a flower. It's a very beautiful flower. You're meant to be who you are in the world. You're meant to be in this world and on this earth. It's meant to be a life that's filled with joy for you, pile six. And the green dragon is telling you there's so much abundance that the earth wants to give to you. Be open to receiving, but fully be in your divine physical presence and embrace who you are, love who you are, love your scars and your beauty together, right? And take the shield down. You don't need your defenses anymore. Open up to life and be in the state of grace. So the animal medicine you may want to embrace is the swan. It's living the state of grace, which is the state of surrender. Surrender comes from acceptance and non-judgment. When we just enter the place of acceptance, forgiveness, then we surrender into grace. 
So you're my pile where those are the four big words for you. Acceptance, forgiveness, surrender, and grace. And all of this will lead to balance, to peace, to you just having a, a beautiful joy filled. And I'm, I'm seeing a relaxing life, this a relaxing life for you this year. And for the whispers of love, we have the message of love endures. So in your love life, you're my pile where maybe you stopped believing in love. Maybe you thought you were too different, that you were outside the fishbowl, outside the paradigm. And yes, you are. But guess what? You're meant to be with someone who's outside the paradigm with you, not someone who's inside of it. Okay. So love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. So they're telling you, don't give up on love. Don't lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands everything. You have so much love inside you. That's the swan energy. The state of grace is the state of unconditional love, pile six. You are meant to embody unconditional love. And think about this. The green dragon is the heart chakra. It's the high heart, the place where unconditional love lives. And love is always going to set you free, always. You have such great strength and love. So pile six, I feel like you're my earth, earth signs. You might have a lot of earth in your chart. You may have a lot of water. I'm getting air as well. So the earth signs are Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. The air is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You know, water is Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. But these are the elements that you're working with, okay? You have, in this lifetime, built a very strong heart muscle. And they're saying that love is coming to you. Please don't give up. Have faith that it's love that's meant to love through you. Embrace love in your life and embrace your physicality. Embrace your physical strength, build your physical strength, and build your heart muscle in your love. Because between the two, your physical beingness and your emotional beingness, what you want is absolutely coming in. And, and we're getting Leo energy now. You know, for a lot of the piles, I was getting a message about Leo energy, about the Lion's Gate this year, or about the season of Leo. So please keep that, you know, mark that down as being a very significant time this year. But love endures. You're on a boat and your ships are coming in. And I'm seeing, see the Leo there? Yeah, there you go. Your ships are coming in. You are getting your dreams. Absolutely, pile number six. I love this. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. Stand in your light. And all that you want is going to come through, okay? Yeah, you're a gentle being. I can feel that. You're very gentle. Find the people that resonate with you. Whoa. And we got eight off the board. Let's see if another number comes up. So to complete our reading here, pile number six, I want to pick a planet, a sign, and a number for you. I had number eight, and you've got two numbers. You've got number five. So perhaps you're born on the eighth day or the fifth day of the month, or perhaps the month of May or August, or the month of May or August are going to be very significant this year. Very important numbers. You may be seeing a lot of 888s or 555s. Five is the number of change and travel. And then very interesting, we've got the planet Mercury. So you're my one pile, very different planet for you. It's all about communication, but Mercury is the planet of communication, getting very clear in your mind, though. In order to use Mercury energy properly, you've got to remove the cobwebs from your thoughts. You have to apply clear thinking. When you're not in conflict, then you're in clear thinking. So if you have internal conflict going on, you've got to find out why that's happening and get to a place of clarity. 
because that's how you use Mercury. So Mercury is about accessing clear communication in your life. Perhaps you're in the fields of communication in some form, but Mercury is also about transportation. So again, we've got a message about traveling and going somewhere, right? So that's a very strong message here for you. But please pay attention, pile number six, with all the Mercury retrogrades this year because it means they're going to have an impact on you. We just left a Mercury retrograde. We were in, we were in it all of December into the beginning of January. So if that impacted you very heavily, you know this reading is for you. The next one will be the entire month of April, and then we will have one the entire month of August, and also November, okay? So I think those are the months, and the sign that I'm getting for you is Capricorn. Perhaps you're a Capricorn, or you've got Capricorn in your chart. Um, maybe Capricorn season this year was very significant for you, you know, January, or perhaps the upcoming Capricorn season, which will be late December and January, is going to be a very important time for you as well. But Capricorn is about applying yourself, having discernment, being organized, setting goals, planning. I love Capricorn energy. It's the planner. But you know what? Capricorn is the perseverer. It never gives up. It applies itself to everything and it only lets it go when it knows that it reach has reached the end and so this is the energy that you're bringing in is Capricornian that you've built a lot of strength and perseverance in this lifetime thus far and that perseverance and strength is your superpower believe in yourself I love it alrighty I am losing my voice a little bit so sending you all a big, big hug. I hope you like this reading. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment. Follow me on Instagram. Until next time, blessings to you all.